Hi guys, welcome to this video and in this video we are going to revise blood relationship from logical reasoning chapter. So guys in this video I am going to explain you five different problems and five different problems have five different variation of the type that can be asked in any competitive exam. The difficulty of these problems is a bit of a higher level and we have five problems here and the time duration for each problem is one minute unless it is a big case which requires 1.5 minutes to solve. So guys let us begin with the first problem and the time for this particular problem is 1.5 minutes because it's a big case. Okay there are eight members eight family members B, D, H, K, N, P, Q and R and here is the relationship given between different family members and you have to solve this problem within 90 seconds that is 1.5 minutes guys i have just taken one simple problem one simple question related with this problem but in reality this is a case and you will be asked three four questions related with this particular case so let us begin your time starts now All right, guys, the time has ended and let us solve this particular case. So here we have eight family members and out of that we have two married couples. So I am going to represent female with a circle and male with a square. If they are brother, sisters, if they are siblings, then I am going to represent them by a single line. If they are married, then we have double line. Now it is given that in this family of eight people, uh, the highest amount of information is given about P because P comes in three statements here. B is the granddaughter of P. P is the sister-in-law of N. So let us first plot P. So we know P is sister-in-law of N. So P has to be a female. And then we have son or daughter for P. And here we have B who is the granddaughter of B. Now B has a sister D. So B is having a sister D. Also we are given that P is sister-in-law of N which means B has a husband who is the brother of N. So we have N here. Alright, so two married couples. So the first couple is the grandfather and the grandmother who is P. And the second one is, I think, the second couple is this one. The second generation. So... H has one daughter and one son. Okay, so we have H who has one daughter and one son and H is the mother of B. So this 
particular person here is H. All right. Okay, so we are not actually given about anything about these gender and I just assume D to be a female. But it is given that H has one daughter and one son. So D is actually a male. My assumption of D being a girl was, was not correct. Yes. Right. So H is the mother of D and B. So we have them here. So we have got the married couples right here. Are we given any other information? N is the uncle of Q. Who is the daughter of R? So we have Q here who is the daughter of R. So this guy has to be R and this is his daughter. And this can be either his other daughter or then this can be his son. We are not given anything about it. Q has only one sister. Alright, so we have H who is the daughter of P and R. And the other daughter is Q. Okay. So we have made the whole family tree. How many people do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And K is remaining. So K is here. Alright. So this is the whole family tree. And there are going to be uh, 3, 4 questions which will be related with this family tree. Please check if you have got the same, same family tree. How is D related to Q? Okay, so Q is a daughter and D is his is her nephew because D is the son of Q's sister, Q's sister H. So D is the nephew of of uh, Q. So guys, there are going to be three, four other questions related with this, but we are just going to see one particular question because we don't have that much time now. Right, now let's so go to the next question. So here we are given few symbolic uh, relationship and we have to find out which of the following statement means J is the son-in-law of I. So guys, you have to check each and every option and then you can see whichever option satisfies the particular relationship that J is the son-in-law of I, that particular option is the right one. So guys, your one minute timer starts now. Okay, guys. So, how is this going to look like? J is the son-in-law of I. So, we have I here. Who is going to have a daughter? And she is going to be married to J. So, this is how it should ideally look like. Now let's solve this particular problem. 
So, if you look carefully at option 1, option 1 says n asterisk i. Asterisk means white. So, n is wife of i. So, i obviously is the husband. And we have n here. I minus L. So it means I is the father of L. So we have L here. L minus K. Which means L is the father of K. So we have K here. Down. K slash M means K is the sister of M. So K is a female and K is a sister of N. M percentage J means M is the son of J. So J is a female here and both of them are married. But we want J to be J to be a male person. So, in this case, J becomes a female. So, this relationship definitely first option is not right. I am going to rub this out. Let's try for the second option. Same thing, N asterisk I, which means N is the wife of I. I minus L which means I is the father of L. L plus K which means L is the mother of K. K slash M which means M is the sister. K is the sister of M. And M percentage J means M is the Son of J. So this is the relationship. This is the relationship. Here if you look carefully, L is the daughter of I and L's husband is J. Which means J is the son-in-law of I. So option number B is the right option. Okay guys, now let's turn to question number 3. There are 6 children taking part in an essay competition. Namely A, B, C, D, E and F. A and E are brothers. F and D are sister of E. C is the only son of A's uncle. B and D are daughters of the brother of C's father. How many male competitors are there? So guys, your time starts now. starts now. It starts now. starts now. Okay guys, so the time has ended. Now here we have six children A, B, C, D, E and F. Let us read the question. A and E are brothers. So we have A and we have E who are brothers. F and D are sisters of E. So we have F here. And D who are sisters of E. C 
सी इज द ओनली सन ऑफ एज अंकल सो एज अंकल मीनिंग ऑल दीज पीपल्स अंकल ई एफ एंड डीज अंकल सो वी हैव देयर फादर हियर एंड ही इज गोइंग टू हैव अ ब्रदर हुज ओनली चाइल्ड इज सी and c is a male because c is the son so we have c here b and d are daughters of the brother of c's father so c's father's brother is this guy and b and d are the daughters so we have another female here b who is the sibling of a e f and d so total how many people do we have yes we have plotted six people here six children here How many male competitors are there? So there are one, two, and three male. So the correct answer is three. So we have three male competitors. This one was an easy one. Let's go to the fourth question. All right, guys. This is a pointing kind of a variation wherein one person points at a frame, or points at a girl, or points at a photograph, whatever, and he asks and he gives the relationship, and you have to find out who, how is that particular person related with the narrator. So, guys, your time starts now. Okay, guys. So the time has ended. Here we have this guy named Prasen. So this guy Prasen, who is a male, is narrating. So he is the narrator. So the first thing that we do in the pointing kind of a question is we uh, plot the narrator. So he is saying that she is the only granddaughter. of my wife's grandfather's only child so this is his wife this is his wife's parents and this guy is wife's grandfather so wife's grandfather's only child so wife's grandfather's only child it can be this lady who is mother of uh, who is prasan's mother in law so let us assume that we are talking about prasan's mother in law here so we are talking about this lady so her only granddaughter we are here talking about this lady's only granddaughter so his only granddaughter is going to be prasan's daughter let us read the question again she is the only granddaughter of my wife's grandfather's only child so it means that we are here talking about prasan's own daughter so we are talking here about prasan's daughter guys i hope you all have understood this particular question and you've got the same diagram Now let us get to the next question, which is the last question, fifth question. Guys, blood relationship is a topic which can be asked in data sufficiency as well. So what it means here, you will be given a question: How is this particular person related with the other person? And you will be given two or more statements, and you'll be asked if you can find out the relationship using any of the following statements. So that is exactly what is asked here, and this particular question, the last question. 
is from data sufficiency. A lot of people ask me to cover data sufficiency uh, by the separate video. But guys, data sufficiency actually is application of the problems of the questions that we see in blood relationship or of the topics that we see in logical reasoning and quantitative ability. So there is no special session as such required for data sufficiency. All right, guys, your time starts now and you have a time of one minute. time of one minute. Have a time of one minute. Okay guys, now the time has ended. So here the question asked how, asks how is Sushma related to Nandini and we are given two statements here. So let us find out, let us solve each statement and see if we can get the relationship between Sushma and Nandini. So we have Sushma here. S. Sushma's husband is the only son of Nandini's mother. So he is the son of Nandini's mother who is only son means Nandini has got just one brother who is uh, Sushma's husband. So here we get the relationship that Nandini and Sushma they are both sister-in-laws. So these two ladies are sister-in-laws. So my first statement itself is enough to get the relationship. Let us see the second statement. Sushma's brother and Nalini's husbands are cousins. So we have Sushma here whose brother and Nalini's husband. So here we have Nalini, Nalini's husband and both of these are cousins. So which means Sushma's parents are siblings with Nalini's husband's parents. Again in the, the second question. So again in this case they are sister-in-laws. The second statement also states that Sushma and Nalini they are sister-in-laws. Though they are cousin sister-in-law. So guys here I can conclude that either data one or either either one or statement two alone is sufficient and we need not take both the statements together either we can answer the question using one or two so guys this was the last question from this session this revision chapter uh, so how many of you have got all the five answers correct i am sure there must be many because blood relationship is very very interesting and very easy to do and also uh, it is very relevant in the real life as well. So keep practicing people and you should be able to solve it within the given time period. That is the most important thing in any exam, any competitive exam. So with this particular question, I am ending this video. We have taken all the variation that can be asked in blood relationship. We have taken data sufficiency problems. We have taken pointing problems. We have taken big cases. We have also taken symbol related problems. So this is all the variation that can be asked. If at all you've got a particular problem wrong, then just solve more problems, practice more problems from that particular uh, variation. So let us end this video. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much.